Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're going to do this problem, which goes like this. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 2 all squared plus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 2. This plus 2 is equal to x. And I saw this equation first at a, a channel called uh, Dr. Wessel Couch. And uh, he showed his solution to this problem. And I, and I thought it was a little bit complicated. And I found a solution that uh, I think is simpler. And uh, now I'm going to show it. So, uh, let's begin. So the first thing I noticed is... Uh, well, if we int uh, ignore just this x, this equal to x, and focus on this side, this looked to me uh, like something being very close to something squared. Because if we look as to x squared plus 4x plus 2 as a parameter, like, for example, a, then we can see that we have a squared, which is this, plus 4 4 a, which is this, and the final plus 2. And if we add just another 2, this plus 2 becomes a plus 4, which uh, is obviously a plus 2, and all of this squared. And uh, if we go with, <coughs> with all of this squared, then we might... Uh, uh, then we might be able to work with something like this. Uh, it might be simpler. And uh, all we needed to do was add 2 for it to be, get to the form of something like this squared. So, as anyone... So, I will obviously do the, uh, do the obvious and add 2. So, uh, this x has another plus 2 after it, and this plus 2 becomes a plus 4. Now, again, like we said, this is the something, this is the parameter here, plus 2, that thing squared. So this thing becomes x squared plus 4x plus 2 plus 2, which is 4, all of this squared. But now, before I write that this is x plus 2, you can see that we can further simplify this. Because this, we just saw this form. This is x plus 2, <coughs> all of it squared. And because we're squaring x plus 2, all of it squared, then we have x plus 2, all of it, to the 4. Now, uh, now we can simplify this further. This is equal to x plus two. Now, uh, let me be let me clarify. We wanted all solutions. That includes complex ones. So we can't just immediately say, okay, x plus two is zero or one because x plus two to the fourth is x plus two. No, we can say that. We have to find complex solutions to all of the solutions. So, just to make uh, life a bit easier, I'm going to replace x plus 2 with t. Just, don't, just so I don't have to write x plus 2 in brackets and all, and all of that all the time. So let's just set, I'll just put it on the side here. t is x plus 2. So now our equation becomes t to the fourth is equal to t. So, uh, let's see. So first of all, we're going to take all the parameters and move them to one side and leave the rest uh, on another. So we get t to the fourth minus t or t times t cubed minus one, which is zero. Again, it seems uh, as if we can just say t zero or t cubed is one, meaning t zero or one. But again, this equation also has complex solutions. And we're going to do that by <coughs> expanding this. So, uh, 
we have t times. Now, t cubed minus 1 can be shown as t minus 1 times t squared plus t plus 1, uh, like this. t times t minus 1 times t squared plus t plus 1. So this times this is t cubed minus 1. It, you can check it. It's, it's not that hard. Uh, and that is equal to 0. Now that we have expanded this far, now we, uh, we can look at all of our options. This is 0, or this is 0, or this is 0. So these first two are easy. And these first two, t is either 0 or 1. We're going to write both solutions. We want all solutions. Now, uh, let's quickly take care of this last one, which is t squared plus t plus 1, which is equal to 0. Now, um, this is um, actually not quite hard. We just use the quadratic formula. So, what we get uh, is uh, <coughs> minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 minus 4, all divided by 2. 1 minus 4 can be looked at as... Uh, 1 minus 4 can be looked at as negative 3. And uh, this gives us our complex solutions. Since we can't have square root of negative 3, unless we include complex solutions as well. Now, these are all of our solutions to t. But remember, t is not what we're looking for. We're looking for x. Luckily for us, t is x plus 2. So t minus 2 is x. Meaning that all of our solutions to x are, let's write them here, x is, let's see, so our real solutions, minus 2 and minus 1, And our complex solutions are this minus 2. So <clears throat> this minus 2, uh, minus 2 goes up, <clears throat> goes up to, the, to the numerator, and you multiply it by 2, because 2 is on the denominator. Minus 1, minus 2 times 2, minus 1 times 4, minus 5. So this minus 1 simply becomes minus 5. So this is minus 5 plus minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. And those are final solutions for x. And I think that just this algebra is much simpler than what Dr. Russell Couch did. With his solution, he looked at x squared plus 4x plus 2 as a function, and he solved this side if we, if we look at the original, where this is plus 2, this is equal to x, you saw this side as this function embedded in itself, and it's equal to x. Then look at choices in that. I thought it was a bit more complicated, and my solution just involved simple algebra. And uh, finally, that's it. If one more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uh, posting more interesting problems uh, like this in the future. And finally, that's it.